Hey everyone, today we will be talking about short, brittle, bitten nails and the best way to apply acrylic to them. With proper application, your nails will be able to grow and thrive underneath your beautiful acrylic manicure. So follow along as I show you some tips and tricks on how to apply acrylic on bitten nails. Let's get started. So we're gonna get started with our video today on how to put an acrylic extension on short bitten nails. If you have clients with short bitten nails, you'll notice that it's really hard to apply a tip to these nails. Because they're so short, when you apply a tip, you're not going to have enough of the nail plate to work with. This causes lifting and extra tension on the stress point. To start off this nail, I'm going to use my cuticle pusher and push back the cuticle. By doing this, you are removing the cuticle, which is dead skin, away from the nail plate. If you leave this on your client's nail plate, it's going to cause lifting. You want to try to remove as much as possible. Now that I push back the cuticle, I'm going to grab my file and I'm going to lightly buff the top of the nail. When applying a tip to a bitten nail, the skin at the point of her finger will push up on the nail and cause lifting. So for nails like this, you're going to want to use a form and you're going to build the nail with acrylic. When applying forms to bitten, brittle nails, you'll notice that the form doesn't quite fit. What you wanna do is grab a pair of scissors and customize the form to your client's finger. One of the biggest problems you will notice when working on short nails is the sidewalls. You wanna make sure that your extension is covering those sidewalls. You don't wanna make it too short because then you're gonna start filing into the natural nail and you want this to grow out. After placing her file, I like to grab my pH bond and we are going to apply that to the nail. After that dries, you wanna grab your primer and apply that as well. For today's look, I'm going to be using Rose from the Color Blend Collection. When doing an acrylic extension on a very short, brittle nail, you wanna keep the nail shorter rather than having a very long nail. If you have a long extension, but a short foundation, it's going to put tension and either snap or lift from the cuticle area. So I'm going to grab a bead of acrylic and we are going to place it on the stress point. Make sure you cover your side walls and then we are going to bring that down. Now that I have the free edge looking the way that I want it, I'm going to grab another bead and we are gonna cover the nail plate. Go ahead and sculpt the nail into the shape that you want. You wanna make sure that your side walls are covered and that you have a good foundation at your apex. So now we're gonna go ahead and let this dry before we start filing. Something that you'll notice when you have a client that bites their nails, they also like to bite the skin around their fingers. The best thing about doing enhancements on clients like this, it encourages them to not be biting on their nails so that their natural nails can grow longer. So now we're gonna check to see if this nail's dry and the best way to do that is to tap the top. If you hear it click, you're good to go. So I'm gonna remove this form by taking down the tabs and then I'm going to pinch towards the middle and it pops right off. So now I'm going to grab my hand file and I like to use a 100, 180 grit file and I'm just going to file the side walls. And then go ahead and file your free edge so now I'm going to grab my e-file and for this I'm using a medium fine bit with a rounded top and I'm going to clean up the cuticle area and smooth out the surface of the nail. So after I'm done e-filing this nail, I like to grab my hand file again and do my finished filing. So now we're done with our extension and I'm just going to finish this off with top coat. Now after she's done curing, I'm going to grab Nourish Oil from Cura Sky and I'm going to apply this to her cuticle area. When you have a client that likes to bite the skin around her finger, you should recommend that they apply Nourish Oil or cuticle oil every day, maybe two times to three times a day. This will soften the skin around the nail and they'll be less likely to bite it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create an acrylic extension on a short bitten nail. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. 
Bye.